Trey Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trey Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. We're always browsing around online to see what the best selling guitars are. We watch what you guys are talking about, and there's one that consistently pops up as a best seller. And at first, I'll admit, I didn't quite get it. And then I looked under the hood at the specs, at the price and the features, and I realized that the Brendan Small Ghost Horse Explorer from Epiphone is one of the best values on the guitar market. Why? For $799, you get features like American Burst Bucker pickups, a real ebony board, a sweet finish with a matte black, and it even has a case. Nice high-end features and an amazing price point of $799 USD. I'll tell you all about it when we take it apart on the bench, and of course, we're gonna plug it in and play it. Without a doubt, Brendan Small is one of the most talented guitarists and one of the funniest dudes out there. Metalocalypse and the band Death Clock, if you have not seen it, check it out. It's hilarious and his playing is insanely good. This guitar is a collaboration between Brendan and Epiphone and it screams cool and it is at a great price. So at the top, if you're in the market for this guitar or any new gear, click to buy using our link in the description. You do support our channel when you click to buy using our link, so thank you. And also be in it to win it. We're very close to giving away a Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul when we hit 50,000 subscribers. All right, let's head over to the bench and take apart the Brendan Small Ghost Horse. I can't wait. So check this out on the bench. You got this, what they call the Galacticon Burst. An amazing top, bound body, bound neck, ebony fretboard. You've got this matte finish on the back of the neck which is gonna give you kind of a satin feel, and it just looks really, really sharp too. You've got this classic Explorer headstock, six on the side tuning. See that there's real Grovers on here as well, and then they got the tools right here on the headstock for adjusting the Floyd Rose, and some cool artwork, and you got the signature here from Brendan Small, which looks sharp, and you can really see that matte black. Nut comes in at 1.75 inches, locking Floyd Rose nut. First fret at 0.81 inches up to 0.85 inches at the 12th. We'll call this a slim taper neck. In fact, Epiphone calls it a slim taper neck. Body thickness at 1.67 inches, and this is gonna be a mahogany body, mahogany neck, and then they have this flamed veneer uh, for this maple look on top, which looks really cool. All right, huge selling point of this guitar. These are Gibson USA Burst Buckers. You have a Burst Bucker 2 in bridge, and you have a Burst Bucker 1 in neck. Let's get a reading on the I almost said metronome. Let's get a reading on the multimeter. 7.4 in neck, 7.9 in bridge, 3.8 combined. This is a kind of a cool shot because if you look across the routes here, you can see that the body really is all mahogany and that veneer on top, while it looks great, is just a very thin veneer. All right, under the hood, you can see the trim set up here. Pretty standard Floyd Rose, three springs installed. Taller pots, it does your coil tapping. And then it's nice you have your own back panel here to access the toggle switch. This be a little bit of a balancing act, but let's get a weight. Nine pounds, six ounces, we'll call it 9.4 pounds. Pretty heavy. Flipping the guitar around for an initial reaction. I mean, yeah, you got 24 frets here. Trem feels pretty good. Uh, guitar feels great. I love the matte because it really approximates like a satin finish and I think that feels great. I don't have any sharp uh, fret edges. Um, just a little bit of relief in the neck. The bass side might be a little high in terms of action, so if I was really nitpicking, I'd probably lower that down a little bit. But you know what? Once you get a Floyd Rose in tune, you just play it, and that's what I'm going to do. Remember, if you're in the market for this guitar, use our purchase link. You do support our channel when you buy using our link. And now comes the fun part. I'm going to plug this in. We're going to let it rip. I'll give you cleans. We'll dirty it up and give you some rips, and then put it behind a track so it can sing. Drop a comment as we go, and remember to stay tuned. I'll give you the final score for this guitar at the very end, along with my reactions. Let's let this thing rip. I'm excited.
enjoy playing it because we only have a three minute track and it comes up real quick on the end there and you know what, I'll tell you what I just want to keep playing this guitar it really is fun it's something totally different and it feels fantastic I think the burst buckers from Gibson USA sound fantastic in this guitar it's fun to just fly all around I like the Floyd Rose overall I'm super impressed with what you're getting for $799 remember if you're in the market buy this using our link support us directly and you will love this guitar I have loved playing it the matte finish is a standout it feels fantastic in the hands for getting around the burst buckers from Gibson USA are also a standout. The fact that you get a case with the guitar, that's a big value plus as well. When I assign a score to a guitar, I base it on three main categories, overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. And let's just go ahead and say that this tops out the score for value. And beyond that, I really can't pick apart much on this guitar considering the price. Small things I would say is the licensed Floyd Rose does have kind of a cheaper feel to it than a real authentic Floyd Rose. It's probably just a little more pot metal and all that. Um, but I didn't really have any issues. Once I stretched out the strings and got it to tune, it really behaved pretty well. So that's the way they save some money. They use the licensed Floyd Rose. Uh, but then, I mean, look at they're making up with it with Gibson USA burst buckers. I like the Grover mini tuners. Everything just looks great. It feels great, and I just don't have many things to detract from this guitar for the price. I'm going to go ahead and give the Brendan Small Ghost Horse Explorer from Epiphone a high score of 9.1, and that I would consider to be based primarily on how much you're getting for your money, and it's harder and harder to find these days because prices have gone up. So for $7.99, if you want a screaming metal guitar that plays and sounds fantastic for the price, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better one. I just wanted to keep playing the guitar. That's my biggest endorsement of this. I just wanted to continue playing it. I didn't want to stop, and I had a blast doing it. Drop your comments. Let us know what you think of this guitar. Remember to buy gear using our links. Drop a comment in our video. Give us a like. Check out one of these videos linked here, and join us in the next video. Drop a comment. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with us on playing Trey Guitars.